Hey yo together and welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays today again on Odyssey Leather Edition, this time with a TVC as we have in the top left hand side spawning in the blue as Sir uh, it's Tauren and in the bottom right hand side it's me in the red for Pro Kings Alex Asher as Terran of course let me see, that works, that works, that works, okay, nice, so this video, then again, the next video will be a TVC as well, and then I have to record games, okay, and I haven't played for weeks, looks like I'm scouting here, and I have to do this because this guy was playing random, yep, this was a random guy playing Zerg, uh, it looks like he's going for hedge first. No cheesing. That's rare. But maybe he goes for a two base attack, pressure, all in. Who knows? But. Yeah. That's my channel. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> no, but seriously, this game is gonna be good. I hope so. And we. We will see, so pool, but no gas so far. I I'm not an expert in Cirque, but normally Okay. But normally you get a gas with it, so maybe it's a gasless pool and then just queens and slow circlings? What I don't know. But that's what it is currently, so that's really strange. At least now I know I'm playing a Zerg. My build will be slightly delayed due to the SV scout, which I had to do because he was playing random. There's this gas, it's so late. In my opinion, this gas is super late. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. I'm not a Zerg expert. He can get both queens. He can get circlings. But now he's he's on, on a lot of minerals and he could get a, a hatchery right away. So I think this gas is too late. Especially because normally at 3.30 speed should finish depending on the build you play. I don't know which build he's playing but here... I don't know. Oh the drone. Is this the... oh yeah that's the old replay. So they changed the reaper quite some weeks ago. Where now it deals only 5 damage and knocking nearby units away. So they nerfed the Reaper twice. First was the cooldown doubled from 7 seconds to 14 seconds, which didn't help nerfing Bian at all. And now they they uh, nerfed it from 10 to 5 damage because Bian was doing so well that they. Yeah, he was just too good with the Reaper. And I don't like it. That they nerf the Reaper like that. I mean, if it's necessary, yes, but any other player than Bjan wasn't doing that good with the Reaper. Bjan was, and, and Bjan was good with the Reaper, yes, against Zerg, and that's it. So, I don't know. Oh, big mistake. Nice. Nice pull there. So now I scouted, but look at that. Speed not finished, and no third base, so I don't know what he's doing. Okay, that explains it. But he's on two gases only, so no mutants so far. That's strange as well. And I'm going for the standard... I don't know, maybe this is the 16 marine drop and that's it. Or maybe that's the 6 minute full all in. Uh, okay, not full all in, but heavy pressure build. We're going with a lot of hellbats, a lot of stint marines and medivacs. It's a bit late, so you can defend... Ah, Bailing less definitely helps. So far it looks like the standard 60 marine build. We will see if I'm going to throw down an uh, armory or not. Finally, third place on the way, Tauren here. Uh, nice creep spread going on, he needs to increase his rate of spreading creep. There you go, blah blah blah, come on, yep. Oh, so slow, ooh, that hurts. But well, mechanics can be difficult. Yeah, that definitely has to be the yeah, that's the armory. How that do it. So of course I'm not a professional, which means my drop hits 20 seconds too late. 
you can leave the base at 4.30 or 4.35 depending on how it goes. And with depending on how it goes, I mean depending on how good you are. Professionals can do it. I can. Normally I would unload right now, right here. I would stim in right now and deal massive damage, focus fire the banelings, kite back, bam bam bam, then stim in, kill the creeps. But I'm having a look here, no base, oopsie, uh huh, okay, not good, yada yada yada, blah 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 blah, and yeah, that's bad. Do I have a, a scan ready? Yes, so I can kill creep, that's also okay. So I see his whole army, five banelings, a lot of circlings, Spire is on the way, I didn't see that, and he definitely will, yeah. I don't know about this, so... Mm, that's good trading for him so far. But up here I'm definitely in the advantage. We got the Overseer ready, it's just six minutes now, where are my Hellions? Only four Hellions, normally. If I would have played correctly, I should be on 110 supply now, attacking him hard. But macro issues, you know, it's difficult. I saw, I've seen it on Zombie Grub's channel, month ago. I know it works, but I don't know how. It's just so late. And there you see the differences. It's just in in how good I'm doing. Like, I should be up 20 supply. But I'm not. The splits of the helmet are... Bleh. But it looks like I barely can hold on here. So even though I'm doing really bad, I can deal damage here. And the 7 Neutralist definitely should help out a lot. One Neutralist goes down instantaneously, that's bad. The Banelings, when, if, if they... They hatch and they should connect. Oh, not through the... Ooh, there are the Banelings, no stim. Good connections, and the Mutalist, one falls down, Oh, that's so much damage here, <gasps> that's not good, but my macro is bad, 1k overmans, I should be on 8 barracks now, have the 3rd base ready, 2-2 two, two on the way, 2-2 uh, two, two is soon on the way, he clears it, that's nice, but he took lots of damage, that was a lot of damage. And now imagine I would have had more units, which I should have had. I definitely will woo, um, will have a look. Am I recording? Yep, sound. Yep, 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 yep. Um, how how the benchmarks are. Just for me to know. Because this build is super good. If I wouldn't have lost so much. I mean, if I would have had more units, then this would have been GG already. So he needs to drone up hard right now. He lost a lot of queens. So he's down to one queen for inject. He needs to remake queens. He also wants to have a fourth base. Basically it's looking really good for me, but... But... I need to find a way to deal with the Nutalus. Oh, that's good. They will escape all. And he might snag one or two SCVs on the out. That that was good. That was not bad. Not losing any Mutalist here. So Widow Mines, not really good spread. Oh yeah, they also want to change the Widow Mine. I hope they don't do it like that. They first of all they change the mule. The mule now in the test map can mine gas. Twenty no ten gas each trip. And they reduce the amount of minerals it can use from 25 to 20 per trip. That's a huge nerf. It will affect bio hard. And they also nerf the widow mine. So after the widow mine did shoot its missile, it gets revealed. Even though it's burrowed. So no detection necessary in order to clean up mines that shot already. Huge nerf. I think bio will be even more difficult to play against Zerg and Protoss now, if those changes go through, and I don't know why they would do it. I mean, the Mule change poof, and the Widowman change are definitely a big issue in my opinion. I don't say they should do nothing, but what they planned is not good for the game, I would say. No. The, the, the challenge is make mech viable 
while keeping bio viable. And if they nerf bio and improve mech, then we will have StarCraft Remastered in StarCraft 2, basically, where you most of the time just play mech. I think. Yeah. I never see bio in StarCraft 2 Remastered. Never. Rarely, let's say rarely, but most of the time it's mech. Which is fun, but diversity is good for a game, so don't nerf bio into the ground. The Marauder is still not as good. Oh, the Baneling connections! That drop was so bad! Ultra is cavalry ready. Hmm, he's still on three bases. I don't know how he can afford that, but he can! Imagine his creep spread would have been better. Imagine his income would have been better. His base management. Oh, wow. I would be so dead. Yep. I would be so dead. But it's not the case. Poor Seer. Also, eh, you will see. No, that's a that, that's a surprise. I don't tell you. <laughs> you will see in one or two weeks. Yep. Don't tell you. I mean, Tauren definitely needs to take a base here. Now he goes for it. He's still only on 50 drones, and he can hold on because I'm playing garbage. But his upgrades 1-1 one, one against 2-2, two, two, and it's not good. That really isn't that great. Maybe I'm wrong with the Widowman change and the new change, and it doesn't affect it too much, but <coughs> I don't know. I'm not a big fan from what it is. So there are his Ultralisk. They have the Carapace upgrade. How is this called? Titan's plating, yeah. Oh, so many Bane links. Good connections here. Where are the Widowmines? Non existent. Yeah, the Thor needs to get rescued. The Widowmine shots, oh, they can be so big. There's a big drop in this main base going on. If I can kill the Ultralis with Kevin, that would be huge. He loses some Ultralis, but the main chunk of his army survives. And maybe we will be on a base trade scenario here. Where I only have one marine. Oh no, two drops. Okay, I got two drops. The bunker holds strong. Widow my fires needlessly. He goes in. The Thor will hold strong for some point. I need to rescue it. Michael back. Oh yeah, that's that's not where you can fight. Not like this. The Bane links don't get all the medivacs. Nice rescue with the medivacs here. Not too bad. Mm, I think that's game. He did clear the main base, not the third base, he's not mining on the gold base. He didn't kill too much. Oh no, look at the trades. Ooh, no, 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 no. He has no bank left. 30 drones. Where are they? Four here, 10 there, some there. That's, that's so game. I mean, 120 supply up. Upgrades are better. I have more mining bases, more units, more everything, and I traded better. Even more barracks going down now. Ghost Academy, just in case, you never know. But basically that's that's all. Even if those Banes hit, he doesn't have anything against the Thor. So... That definitely is GG. And that's that's all because of that's nice, nice counter attack. And that's all just because of the one attack I did early on. And the mutalist did nothing. I mean, it's also part wise of his build he played with the with the early layer, but then he went into mutalist not on two base but on three, which makes this build quite bad. Or let's say not efficient. That's that. I don't know why I'm going back. I, I just should go in and kill him. But maybe I was scared on that game. I mean, that, that could be the case. You never know. Wow, that oversaturated. Wow. Interesting turret placement. Huh. So this turret gets repaired. This turret never rebuilt the bunker. 
I'm still looking for the counter attacks. I should just attack. Instead, I'm dropping left and right. Basically, that's bad. Toying with your enemy is bad. It will bite you back. Just finish him off. I mean, what what is this? I just should go on the map, kill him. There are a thousand banelings. Not that many, but enough banelings. So, counter attack again. Please, just kill it. What is he doing with the banelings? Just connect! Uh, ah, oh yeah, okay. The video mine! Ooh! Yeah, it looks like I'm just going in now. Setting up liberation zones and videos. I don't know for what, there is nothing left. My APM were quite okay, not really good. But I think that's good. I got some Marauder, good upgrades. 3 3 against 2 2. Nice banning connections, but is it enough? I don't think so. Yeah, here it comes! Ah, the splits are wow! That was not too bad. There we go, GG! So, the next game will also be a TVC. Hope you will enjoy that, and I also hope you enjoyed this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye.